What is a destiny killer? Is it a game of loot and shoot? Is it a perpetually online job? Does it have some notable characters? Or is it just set some time into the future? I am on a journey to find all the destiny killers so you don't have to. So if you like this series, be sure to let me know if you want more. This series was very obviously inspired by the Iron Pineapple. So if you guys haven't checked out his series on Souls Likes, I do recommend it. For all these Destiny Killers, I wanted to take the best clips and really only keep the moments I wanted to bring you, and thanks to Outplayed, I did just that. Outplayed is the best video capturing app for any game you'd like to save memorable times with. Hey. <laughs> the app can even automatically capture your best moments so you can easily sort through them and share them with your friends or on socials. The main feature is the gameplay capture, which automatically records kills, headshots, and other key moments. But if there's some that you didn't want to keep, there's a video editor built in to splice the moments together. This is my favorite feature because it makes getting 8 hours of footage on a normal recording a lot easier to sort through. And I can edit a bunch of small clips instead of a massive amount. Now, let's get back to the moments I saved with Outplayed. Thanks to Outplayed for sponsoring this video, and now, let's get back to the Destiny Killers. The first game up was Anthem. How fitting for this game to be the one that was supposed to be the ultimate Destiny killer. I remember this one had so much E3 effect and buzz to it. Bioware had a great reputation until this game and, well, Mass Effect Andromeda. Some people who were watching on my stream were even confused that Anthem was still around and that the servers weren't completely turned off. By the way, I will be continuing this series on streams, so if you ever want to be a part of the videos and contribute to which games I play in the future, please come by. So now this game is only about $4.99 on EA Origin. It's not even on Steam. It might still be on console, but I found it here. Let's check it out. Oh my god. I forgot how cool this game really could have been. The movement feels very crispy. The gunplay feels very crispy. The abilities, uh, we'll just kind of have to see, but I forgot how nice those parts of it really worked. I don't know. The game looks good. Yeah, no, the game looks good. I'm saying like color scheme wise, everything just feels very, I don't know. Like the one appeal of destiny is that it's very colorful. You know, you can distinctly tell which planet you are on. That's a really hard thing to nail, but I just don't like it when games are just like over the top one color. It's like very one note, you know? Man, I was so wrong. Hey, when I go back and edit this footage, I'm gonna need this part of the video to show how dumb and wrong I was for claiming that everything in the game was a one note color. Everything just feels very brown and gray. I could not be further from the truth. All right, so here we have our mini map and this will tell us like the object the objectives that we have to do obviously but one of the big things that i never really liked about anthem was it's again the ui like why do we even have clouds here it's so weird okay so before i continue this game the pros are just the pure beauty of the environment the sound design the flying and at least the the scale of exploration i don't think the depth is really there but the scale of the exploration is really fun and i think that the shooting at least at least for as good as a third person shooter can be feels really crispy um abilities we'll have to see bugs are very very much still present in this game as you guys can see right here i'm moving around you see that little flickering but I really like it as a game to revisit. This is a really easy pickup for four bucks so far. Yeah, I was genuinely surprised at how much I liked Anthem. At least the flying and potential part. It still felt clunky swapping from flying to shooting, and I never really felt there was this epic boss moment Destiny always seemed to produce. But we've seen what time can do to other massive games. There was supposed to be a roadmap for this one, but EA shut this game's future plans down before it could really get going. I honestly think I would come back to play Anthem, but it does make me less antsy to jump back in, knowing that I'm playing a game that the publisher just plain gave up on.
This game is called Gunfire Reborn, developed by Do Ye Games, who only have made this game and DLCs for it. The game describes itself as a level-based adventure game featuring FPS, roguelite, and RPG mechanics. Players can control heroes with various abilities to experience diverse build gameplay, use various weapons to explore procedurally generated levels. You can play the game alone or up to four players. This one was $20 and it sounded like it had some similarities to Destiny with build crafting, wacky weapons, and hero gunplay. I could tell that although single player was pretty great, I needed to experience it with some friends. So I brought in one of my editors and one other friend. But then I forgot I left TikToks up on the bottom of my stream without taking them out of the recording. That's my fault on a horrible joke meant for my viewers. So pretend like this is the first time we did co-op. So let's check it out. Hey! Yo! We're gonna pretend like we have not played this for the first time. Yeah, like, man, this is my first time. We're see. gonna pretend like we have played this. This is our first time playing together. Yeah! <laughs> nice level, man. Where'd you pick that up? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, did a bit of, did a bit of mining off stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's jump in. I love the sounds, man. Whenever you get a crit. Yeah, it's so satisfying. Sound design is like a heavy part of why I think these games work so well. I'm not sure if I love how close you have to be to something to actually pick it up. Or so it, it's like a weird like radius to pick something up. Like it just pops up like a giant menu in front of you. And sometimes it's like really hard to see what I'm picking up. And it's very like text yeah. heavy. It is, you do have yeah, to read text a lot. I really like the right click ability. So like right here, like let's see, let's get him like revved up or something big. I froze him, yeah. Oh my god, the corrosive damage is crazy. Nice. Nice and easy. I can already hear the Zelda music playing in my head. That's you. Oh my god, you're... It's dead already? <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. That was not on the script, Bongo. Yeah, we needed footage, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, this is like a wave based round. I've had one of these before. Yep, now we fight more. I really like the kunai. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Into the ocean. Oh. Oh. Boss fight time. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's end this boss. Oh shit. It's a pirate ship. Uh oh. Middle turret. Yeah, yeah, I shot it. Oh, no. Oh, did we do it? Oh. I think we did. Oh, 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 oh. Um. <laughs> Why did he stare at me like that? What is oh, little bro doing? Dude, the difficulty spikes in this oh. are crazy. Oh my. Just got the art. This dog's just, dog's just Oh my god. Why are the difficulty spikes so insane in this? Oh, you probably have to use it in the middle. Wait. Oh, yeah. You just wrecked him. Holy. Holy. Oh, oh. Nicely done. Whoa. Oh, Look at all the loot. I would say it's like the raids are the big thing as well because yeah. like the thing that all these games suffer from is like now that I'm maxed out and I'm insanely powerful where's that final challenge yeah. you know like they they don't really have them other than like time trials and I feel like people don't really enjoy time trials figuring out how fast you can craft a busted weapon yeah exactly <laughs> like bro I feel like I yeah. One of the straps. So there's copper and then there's this like cyan currency yeah, that you can either use to upgrade your skill tree or build to unlock another character. And then they have their own skill trees. Yeah, this game is really like, it's a simple idea, but I think it just does the ideas very well. Cause right when I hopped on, I was like, like the first compliment I can ever give this game is when you hop into the, t the tutorial, you just play the game. There's nothing else to it. Like, like you hop in and you're immediately in the game. You're immediately in the action. And you're not like sitting through like an eight hour story explanation. No, 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 I'm dead. 
Wow, dude, it's Emperor Penguins riding the monkeys. All right, well, we were one level away from the final boss of that level. Yeah. This game blew me away, and I was surprised I had never heard of it before. If you want a game with some of the most addicting gunplay, build crafting, weapon variety, and honestly a great art style, I can't recommend Gunfire Reborn enough. I loved all the secret vaults filled with their own puzzles and modifiers, and I loved the journey of unlocking other characters, each filled with their own skill trees to progress. I think the revive system is too wacky for its own good, but most roguelikes don't even let you revive, so I get it. Be sure to put this game on your map and please check it out. I felt like I was only just getting started. This one is called Dungeon Looter, made by Wapin Games, who only has one game under their belt. And it's a bit of a stretch to call this one a Destiny Killer, but I wanted to at least try it because it has Dungeon and Looter in the title, so it might share some similarities to a Destiny Killer. The game description says this is a co-op hack and slash through random generated dungeons with roguelike elements. Steal from poor, monsters, and take items back home. Sounds like what I do to all the aliens of Destiny, so it's probably up my alley. So we have uh, UI navigation, mouse left is just deciding, and then WASD, okay. Early stage of development. During this time, Dungeon Looter will be receiving updates to fix bugs, okay. Oh, we can edit a loadout. Look at this. It's like Destiny. All of a sudden, we already got our first Destiny killer here. It reminds me of the old addicting games type of games. Do you remember the cat launcher game where you would launch? A, I think it was a cat. You would launch out of a, a slingshot and you would just buy upgrades. I'm going to try to not get overly critical with these games because a lot of them are going to be smaller games. Oh, so these are my different attacks. E, Q, and R. What am I doing? What's what's happening? Oh. <laughs> what is happening? I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm on skates right now. And it, it shows what you're using. But I feel like I'm on skates. Every time I try to stop, I'm a little bit confused on what specifically I'm doing in this game. I feel like so far it's got some good ideas working for it, but it, I know it's randomly generated, but if there's no new enemies, oh, we got a boss fight here. Okay, wait, this could actually be good. Let's see how the boss fight is. A gate? Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> the boss is a gate? I don't know how I feel about that. The thing is, I like some of the ideas this game has, even if it is more of a dungeon crawler. I like some of the ideas that it has. But I don't think that I like that the enemies are mostly the same and it feels like they're all kind of just spammy and they only come out at once. Okay, how do you guys feel about this game so far? I'm kind of already feeling like moving on to something else, to be honest. Mid, mid, yeah, I think it's, I think it's only mid feeling because the game just, it, it, it feels clunky to play. It feels like all the enemies are in one spot so like, I'll show you, like we have right here, a, it, what feels like enemy spam in one little aisle. So yeah, I think, I think for this one, for this episode or this chapter of the series, I think, I think I'm going to end my time. Okay. So this was a stretch to put on the list. This game does have looting and monsters, but it just wasn't fun. And it felt more like a mobile game than a game I would find on steam. If this one had enemies spaced out, some more fluid attacks, and clearer menus, I would have liked it a lot more. But as it stands, it feels early, so I hope Wapin Games adds some cool updates in the future that make me want to come back. This one should surely be the looter shooter destiny killer I've been looking for. This game is called Dungeon Shooter Dark Temple, developed by I'm Crazy who has one other game called Hero Z TPS. And that looks like this. I'm Crazy says this is a fun and cool indie game. Players will play as a shooter where you can choose up to... 
I thought you guys watching should know that this game is a mobile game with millions of downloads. I didn't know that going into my first playthrough and I found out after. Maybe this really is a good game after all if millions of people have played it. It is beautiful. I really want to get it, but not now. Do not move. You will irritate it. It's horrible. <laughs> he just walked down the hallway. My God, they get into the tomb. This guy is stupid. What? Have you ever heard of Aspis, the giant snake? Yes, I think I saw it. If you see it again, please bring me a sample of its blood. Okay. All right, so, so far I'm seeing a lot of destiny similarities. We have a first person shooter. We have a game called Dungeon Looter or Dungeon Shooter. Sorry, Dungeon Looter was the other one. And wait, we have bounties. Oh, this is very destiny. If you can terminate the target, my employer will give you enough rewards. Okay, well, let's check it out. Can I... What did I do? What? What is hap... I pressed shift. All right, so don't press shift and W. Or don't press shift at all. All right, let's see how the gunplay is. Head. Head. It's very destiny. Oh, I have a wolf! Look at him! I cannot change the volume, and I hope when you guys get to listen to this that the audio is not too loud, but for me, this is hurting my ears. Oh, this is my bounty. Yeah, die. Ooh, God. You guys thought all of your broken weapon bugs in Destiny were strong. How about 2,000 rounds in the mag? It looks like something that Dr. Reyna needs. I better take it back to her now. Dr. Reyna needs a shotgun? This might be the worst weapon I've ever used. None of the bullets are going to where they're supposed to be going. Hey. Hello. <laughs> That's what you sound like? You can just keep right clicking. Who is this guy? Wait, are you the same? How about you have a fight to see who's right? Come on, let's do it. What? 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 Do you admit defeat? I, I don't know whose animal was who. Was that camel supposed to be down there? Hell. <laughs> okay, we got a new voice actor. Hell. 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 Honestly, guys, for a game called Dungeon Shooter, what can I say? It delivers. It's everything I ever wanted. Get it today. It's so good. I don't think I need to say anything else about this one. This is a game that you play if you lost a bet. I had no expectations for RoboQuest. The only reason I added it to my list of games to check out was that we play as a robot called a guardian to loot and move through the desolate world after a collapse. RoboQuest is developed by Rise Up Studios. I had no clue about this studio until today. Put RoboQuest on your games to play. Oh my God, look at this. We can actually sure. change the FOV by a lot. Oh my. Guardian, we're actually called a guardian in this game. Oh, the music is so good. Oh, and there's different characters. Oh. Beat your first boss, unlock base camp four, thousand enemies and the lost javelin. God, the music is honestly my favorite part right now. I think the gunplay is about what I would expect. It's definitely better than Dungeon Shooter. I don't know if I like the gunplay more than Destiny. I think Destiny is very hard to beat gunplay, but the music is just amazing. I don't know whoever made this soundtrack deserves a big raise. 
compared to gunfire i don't think it's as unique I, but i haven't really got a lot of weapons gunfire it felt oh. like it focused on gunfire it felt like it focused on a bunch of different weapon options um with like all really like fun unique weapon types i wouldn't say this feels as good because shooting robots never feels as good as like shooting something that isn't a robot like literally anything i just don't like shooting robots as much um okay we got another one of these like test your skills whoa okay all right pumping shotgun can i change this i can like i wonder if this game is like b hopping of some kind oh yeah the movement i would say is way better than gunfire oh whoa you can grind on the rails okay i could really see speedrunners especially liking this game i think i'm having more fun grinding on the rails and just moving around than i am with the main shooting i think destiny is always gonna have the best shooting mechanics but i think this game nails the feeling of moving around a lot more on a base level i think the movement is incredible it reminds me a lot of titanfall and i got an a rank for that so you get different ranks depending on how fast and i'm sure how many like crit multipliers how much you touch the ground and other stuff like that really cool really really cool game man honestly the gameplay does feel nice even though like like you said definitely movement it does both quite well yeah it Actually, balances shock build, I got really well. all right so i think this is the boss yeah oh this oh, is a different yeah. boss dr turret dr turret oh you gotta jump over that oh, jump over that this is actually sick. Oh, rockets. People thinking there's a dash in this game. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where are we even supposed to go? Oh watch out, watch out, watch out. Laser beam. Nice. nice. That's good, man. Hold on. I it's kind of weird how he explodes like that. All right, let's see your ability. Hit uh, me with that Q. Whoa. Oh, oh okay. This game absolutely won me over. With its Titanfall and Apex Legends movement in a Borderlands art style and wacky weapon department, each Guardian has unique abilities that make them all act and move a bit different through the levels. You can take different paths through previously explored levels, and there's even optional areas for loot and upgrades. This is very much a roguelike first, as killing enemies gets you upgrades for your runs to enhance your abilities further too. But I found that the most fun was treating this game like one large speedrun. You are ranked based on how much XP you generate, and the speed at clearing a level. I think my only gripes with this game is that I just wanted even more in the levels, and that they started to feel a little bit samey since they're not procedurally generated like how Gunfire Reborn had that going for it. But that's not to discount the game. And you could tell that the levels are intentional with the grinding rails and the way that you enter and exit different optional paths. I think this has one of the best soundtracks, movement, and ideas going for it of all games I have ever seen. Please, please, please pick up RoboQuest and play it with a friend. It was a gem. So this one is newer, and I won't lie, I played the original alpha or beta earlier in the year or sometime last year that I don't remember it all that well. What I do remember about the first time playing this is that it felt clunky, and it had a very generic feel to it that didn't have its own standout identity or feature. But that's where early betas can learn a lot, and I'm excited to see if the new first descendant can scratch a new itch. This is made by Nexon Game Studios, who have a lot of big properties under their belt. But Lawbreakers was the last major game I can remember them developing, so let's hope they learn from Lawbreakers and can bring something new to the new First Descendant beta. Okay, so it's kind of like Guardian, but Descendant. The first descendant. Select the descendant will be your, become your first descendant. Then you can gather the kids. Ajax seems like a Titan. Uh, Lepic maybe seems like a warlock. And then Viesa seems more like a hunter. Press middle mouse to use the grapple hook. Okay, so yeah, now it's different with the grapple hook. I really like what they've done with it. Because the first time I played this game, the grapple hook had like no A and D. It was just a straight up grapple hook. And now you can actually move with it. Already, we're meeting so many 
characters that I have no clue who they are or why I should care. Yeah, so this mission is totally different from the one that I played last time. Last time the mission that I played was like you're in a city and everything's been burned to the ground. I really, I feel like this would be a good opportunity to show you guys what like last year's game looked like because this is so much better than last year's game. Last year, I was not confident that this game would even get off of the launch day. Now I'm like, all right, I, I, I could see people getting interested in this. Okay, that is my elemental. Whoa, never mind. That's my black hole. So Z is black hole. C is the grenade that sucks everything in. Not if you can hear me. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't go that way. Whoops. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting Warframe meets Outriders more than I am Destiny on this game. I want to grab onto you so badly. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. I think you have to stand still in front of it. Okay, let me stand still in front of it. So this is like our version of the tower where I'm sure we'll get all of the upgrades, mods, information, mission structure, all of that. So let's see if this tower is all that. We already got a lot of people in here though, so that's that's a good sign. Okay, well this game is definitely meant to be played with friends. And so I think the best way to do that is to bring in a friend. Mr. Clout God is sitting in VC, so let's go check it out with him. Do you hear me? Wait, Wait now, now do you, do you hear, hear me? me? Oh my god, yeah, I do. My favorite is like this type of character in every single game always does the thing with their chin. They always do like the little the little beard chin. Mm. Oh yeah. More right, up top. Got to go all the way up to the roof. Yeah. Okay, so this game I mean already though, I, I do like that the mission structure is built on like using the grapple hook. Wait. But I can't go on the roof. Yeah, I can't. I can't either. What's oh, going on? Man, game, let me on the roof. I'm stuck. I'm stuck inside here. Uh, Evan, I'm stuck. You're stuck again? <laughs> hey, man, get out of there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I will say this game definitely suffers from missions that are just. Uh, yeah. Like, I think if I were somebody who was just getting into the genre of this type of game, I would be pretty turned off by the first Descendant. But I think if I was somebody who was a fan of Warframe, Outriders, Destiny, those types of games already, I'd be more than happy to like give it a longer shot. Have you have you interacted with these things yet? No. You just interact with it? What the? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you know, all, all this game does right now? is make me sad that Anthem never turned out well. That's all it does. That's all, it's all, I'm, I just want Anthem to be good. You remember, yeah, oh, did. this is a dedicated boss fight. Oh, this is gonna, whoa, look at how many people are here. Oh, shit. Oh, I got it. Oh, I mean, Bam. Bam. I'm holding hold on, right, I'm holding right, on, hold I'm right, holding on. Right. I'm holding on. Oh. Keep punching him. Yeah, he's flesh. Let's go. I'm shooting roly polies. I think he's dead. He got his ass. Yeah, nicely done. Let's go, Cloud. Let's got go. Three guns. That took us 757. Wow, we got a lot of loot though. That is a crazy amount of loot. Where is the thing? Is it? It's not popped up yet, right? You have to view no. the results screen. View oh, the results right, screen. Dude. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because it's gonna have three seconds. Yeah. Okay, three seconds. All right. Click it. Clicking. Click oh my god, that's all I had to fucking do. <laughs> yeah, that's all you had to do. God, for Shex, can you go like a new character that isn't leveled? Uh, the closest I can do is a lower level version. Starting bunny research. So I'm researching her now. Yeah, and then if you want to get her immediately boost the research to finish it. The Clout, session. there's going to be two bunnies on the field. Oh, boy. There, we could have three. There's going to be three bunnies on the field. Yo! Oh, my God. Scaring respect. I have to talk to the alpha first. Yeah, I just found out why Evan wanted. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm literally so, just shooting the straight forward. Too. Bro, our, the servers are going berserk right now. Oh, wait. Demigore, the creepy. Does he do that same attack? Oh, my God. Oh no my way, God. dude. He's got four orbs above him. Wow. That's crazy. And he's brought fucking orbs, dude. What a great mechanic. What happened? No, it's just that every single objective in this game is literally the same three. And yeah, it's starting to even like make my numb brain get angry, which is very hard to do. The devourer. I honestly wish that the whole game was just these boss fights. I kind of wish there was a boss. Whoa! Right I wish that the campaign had like any good boss in this it. This guy looks dope yeah, as fuck. Yeah, I feel like the campaign should add like. Dude, oh like those god. bosses getting... all oh having the god. same mechanic was just so annoying. Yeah, if they would have had a couple of these in the boss, like. We have a teammate down way over there. Yep. Dude, really? Intercept failed. We just lost it? Nah, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm good off of doing this for right now. That one was awful. Ooh, I think that is where I'm going to end my playtime on the first Descendant beta. I got a really good grip on what the first Descendant is all about. People in my stream wouldn't stop talking about Warframe and how much the first Descendant feels like that experience. So as this series goes on, I'm sure I'll have to check out Warframe. That being said, I do have mixed feelings about this beta. It's a lot better than the first time I played it, but there's core issues that I don't think a beta can solve. So I'll just list my pros and cons with my 9 hours played. The pros really are that the heroes felt all different from one another and had a lot of features to differentiate themselves and stand out. Sometimes a little too much to stand out. Yo! The mod system to complement the heroes and the constant feeling of progression were something at least for now that I enjoyed, but I'm sure as you progress further, all of these materials will slow down and you'll be grinding a lot of hours. The Colossus boss fights were the most destiny killer portion of this game and definitely the standout moment of the first descendant. These are fights against a single boss at a time with raid-like mechanics you'd find in Destiny. I still think they're missing that amazing charm Destiny raid bosses have, but I did not get to fight the much harder versions of the bosses, so maybe they'll hit even harder and maybe they really do feel like Destiny bosses. I really enjoyed this game as a free crossplay beta though, and it's insane that they let players do this much before the full game is out. We can beat most of the game with this, and finish most of the story. That being said, this game does have some massive flaws that I could see turning off a lot of people. Say what you want about Destiny's new player experience being horrendous, but this game is even more overwhelming. You're taught almost nothing about how and where to begin missions, and with all the menus and mods, it's a lot of walls of text to get from place to place. The Colossus were amazing, and so were the new characters, but be ready to sink in about 5-7 to seven hours to experience those parts of the game. If that's a turnoff for you, then I do not recommend First Descendant. This was also made by Nexon, who was from South Korea, so the English dub was very delayed and weirdly interpreted at times, so if that bothers you, then this game isn't for you. This isn't just the voice acting, but the entire story feeling the pains here. I wouldn't get too invested in this world as it suffers from the genre's horrible amounts of filler stories to eat up playtime and act as a large tutorial to get to the parts that you actually want to play. I think I fought a boss just named Greg four or five times in the story. This clunkiness can also be expanded to the grapple hook and the mission structure themselves. The grapple hook added horizontal movement, but its range and stickiness is nothing to write home about. For the grapple hook being the main movement, it still feels very stiff and needs more time in the oven to feel special. The missions made me miss Vanilla Destiny, and that's not really a compliment. These boil down to shoot a boss and pick up thing to put in basket, capture zone, and defend. Defend the area after hacking laptop. Boss fights also share the exact same mechanic too. You shoot a boss till it's immune. You wait for the orbs to pop up around it. You shoot the orbs, then you shoot the boss, rinse and repeat. I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression and say this game was awful, and I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression and say this game was amazing either. There's some standout features here, 
but I think the best way to experience this is by playing some music, sitting in Discord with some friends, and mindlessly grinding. Well, we played a lot of Destiny Killers today, and I think depending on how you guys are feeling and if you want to see more, I'll make this a series. I had a lot of fun stepping out of my comfort zone on this one, so if this sounds like a good idea to continue on, just let me know and show this video some love. Suggest a Destiny Killer in the comments, and I might check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Mm.